guys, today's video is all about aftercare. And when I talk about aftercare, I'm talking about exotic handbags, specifically crocodile, alligator, and lizard. Right here, I have a beautiful matte porosis crocodile bag. Now, a bag like this will last decades if you take proper care of it. The best way to avoid damage and aging to your bag is to avoid excessive heat, humidity, direct sunlight, and of course, moisture. The worst thing to any handbag lover is spilling something on your bag when you're out. If this happens, wipe it immediately with a dry cloth. I mean, even if it's the table linens at the restaurant right there, just let's just wipe that off because that is the enemy of these beautiful skins. A mat bag, you might not see so much if you wipe it away quickly, but on a beautiful glaze bag like this, unfortunately, it will leave a spot and could take away the glazing right in that area. If this happens, you can take your bag to a professional leather specialist and I recommend finding someone in your area. And if you need to find someone, please reach out because I can refer you to somebody. And they will know what to do as far as buffing and bringing the shine back in these beauties. I do not recommend doing it at home. It's best to leave that to a professional. So right here, I have a glazed American alligator skin bag. And this one is an electric blue. And I love glazed bags for their timeless appeal. They look like something from the past, but can still be so relevant today. A matte skin, also stunning, gives you a different look and is a little more casual in my opinion. Both of them need to be treated the same way and avoiding moisture. I also recommend to leave your lotions on for a while before you start handling your bags because any moisture on the handle from your hands is definitely also the enemy. Here's another example of one of our bags. This one is in a calf leather, but happens to have a stunning pink American alligator handle. Gives you a little bit of luxury and a little bit of a casual look at the same time. Absolutely timeless. Now, when it comes to storage, I recommend keeping your bags in a cool, dry place. In the closet in the summer, sometimes it can heat up. So if it's an excessively hot day and you have air conditioning, turn it on, it's worth it. Humidity is definitely something that can age any leather bag, regardless of what type of leather that is. And lastly, I wanna talk about lizard skin. I feel like lizard is sort of the little cousin of the crocodile because it is also a reptile and they have sometimes a similar coloration where the sides are darker than the center. I have noticed that as a, a lizard bag ages, sometimes you can feel like a scaliness or a little bit of a dryness in the skin. Not to worry, there is a way to condition these bags. And like I said, take it to a professional to get it conditioned and cared for. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed these quick tips and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.